So let's talk about catheters, sheets, and dilators. All right? These are very confusing. Why are they confusing? They pretty much all look like the same thing. So here I have a dilator. Here I have a sheath. All right? And here I have a, <clears throat> this is a five French straight catheter. This is the back end of the catheter. This is the front end of the catheter. Catheter's a little curled up. I put it in my bag, but it's definitely a functioning vascular catheter. So why are these devices so confusing? The reason is because they simply all look the same. These are all basically pieces of plastic, right? So there they are, the three of them. So how do you make sense of that, okay? Dilator, sheath, and catheter. We're gonna start with the sheath because I think this is the hardest thing to understand. This is a five French vascular axis sheath, right? It has a sidearm here. Right, and it has the dilator in it, and that's the blue portion. So technically, the sheath is just the yellow portion, and the blue portion is the dilator. All right. I know it's five French. You can actually see there, uh, five is written on it. So this is the five French vascular sheath. Uh, what is the point of the dilator and the sheath? Okay. With the dilator, the dilator basically fits right into the sheath, just like so. Basically, slide it right in. When this is together like this, it's in a good position now to be advanced into a blood vessel. Right? Usually we place this sheath, we actually do the majority of our interventions using this sheath and we go through the right common femoral artery in the groin. Right? When you have the dilator with the sheath together like this, you see there's a nice taper here and this is going to enter that vessel very smoothly. This is going to go in over wire. All right? So it's going to enter that vessel very smoothly with the dilator. All right? Now once I'm in the blood vessel, if I leave the dilator in, you notice that I'm basically plugging up that hole of the sheath, right? The whole purpose of the sheath is to have access to a vessel. That means I need to have a hole, basically a tube, going right into the blood vessel. With the dilator in, I don't have that. So I have to take the dilator out, all right? So once I'm in the blood vessel, I take the dilator out. And you can see that there's a more blunt uh, tip there. And that means I have then access into the blood vessel. So you might wonder, okay, if I have this tube in the blood vessel, wouldn't blood just start pouring out the other end of this, uh, of this device, this sheath? Well, actually, this has a uh, valve on it there, so it prevents blood from escaping. It also prevents air from entering. Okay, Both are bad things. We don't want blood to leave the body. We don't want air to enter into the bloodstream. I said I had this 5 French catheter here. So this is that 5 French catheter. I'm going to show it up close. All right, this is the back end. This is just a lure lock fitting. Uh, you can't really see it, but it actually says uh, five French on there. So again, if this is a five French sheath, okay, it should accept a five French catheter. Now, if you just notice, the diameters of these are different, okay? Because the sheath is gonna be rated for the diameter internally, what it can accept, all right? This makes it easier for us to know uh, when we place a sheath, what can actually go through it. And I'm just gonna show you right now without delaying anymore, basically this 5 French catheter is going to slide very easily through this uh, 5 French sheath. All right, so there you go. So imagine this is in a blood vessel. I'm now advancing a catheter up through the sheath. I'm going through the right common femoral artery. I'm probably trying to access maybe the abdominal aorta. Maybe I'm trying to get to the celiac artery. Maybe I'm trying to get to the SMA for an intervention. Okay, I basically have a lot of options. Right. Uh, once I have that sheath, I can then thread my catheter. Uh, typically with catheters, we're going to definitely go in over a wire, so that's the part I'm not showing you. Uh, but we can get into that in a later video. And that basically con concludes this session. Again, we talked about uh, sheaths, dilators, and catheters. I'm just going to show them again. Here is the sheath. Here is the dilator for the sheath. And then here again is the angiographic catheter. This is a straight 5 French catheter. Srug RMD. Hope this video cleared up the differences between sheets, catheters, and dilators. Uh, if you like this, please go ahead and like it below or subscribe for additional content. Srug RMD. Thank you for watching.